Good evening, everybody. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. How are you today? Are you ready for today's class? Yes, sure, no. Tell me. How are you? Everything good? Are you happy? Yes. Good evening. It's nice to have you. As you may know, we have Tuesday, right? Another beautiful day. Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. We're going to carry on with this thing that is called learning English. Learning English. And we're going to work with our class number 10. So thank you so much, all of you, for being here. And let's begin. Okay. Just let me get the information so we can start uh, working on this vocabulary. Okay. Now this one. Okay, give me a minute so I can so I can find it. Oh, this one is not. But what about this one? Okay. Here we go. We're working with do you like rap? Yesterday, as you may know, we were working with this thing. Oh, Luis, hello. Good evening. How are you? You good? It's nice to have you, Luis. Thank you so much. Okay. So Yesterday we were working about about something that you like or something that you don't like. Um, oh, that's good, Luis. Okay, it's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're gonna have questions, but these ones are gonna be with do and does. Okay, yes, do and does. Oh, let me see. Give me a minute, please. Just let me double check something here. Because I think this one is from yesterday. Oh, we do. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay, give me a minute. Oh, yes. Yes, I need to add this one so we can have it clear. Okay. Yes, we're going to add in simple present on this one. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes, no questions. Okay. With do and does, simple present. Okay, so that is the one we're going to work. We're going to work with questions. I love questions because questions make us speak, right? And as you may know, we're going to have do and does. And also, we're going to have a little bit of double-edged questions on today's class. Hector, hello. Good evening. Okay, Hector, thank you so much for letting me know. It's nice to have you. Thank you so much. Bethsaida, hello, Bethsaida. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Sounds good. Okay. Look at the information that we have here, Bethsaida. Okay, pop, classical, hip-hop rock and jazz number one or well, number one letter a is for you do you like these types of music tell me please but say that i love it it's okay i don't like it i love it oh which one yeah yeah but which one the pop music oh pop, pop music okay what about classical um, it's okay when we are study. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we fall asleep. Okay, thank you. What about hip hop? Hip hop. Hip hop. It's okay. Thank you. Rock. I love it. Oh, okay, very good. What about jazz? Jazz. It's okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, Adelie, Janeth Cornejo, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Bye. Sounds good. Let it be is for you. Do you like these types of TV shows? So you can say, I love them. Or you can say, oh, they're okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like them. Um, tal, tal show? Uh, talk shows? They're okay. Yeah. What about reality shows? Um, they okay. They are okay. Thank you. Circle. Get circle, teacher. 
Oh, Ahí sitcoms llamé. is like uh, two and a half men's uh, friends. Um, let me see who else. Sí. Oh. Serious. Oh, serious. Yeah, like 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 serious. Like this one's like from Warner uh, Bros. Ah, or, okay. I don't know. Th this series from Disney, like Hannah Montana. Ah, I sí. don't know. Ah, entonces I love it, Tyrion. Oh, very good. Yeah. See, I like it serious. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good, right? Very good. What about soap operas? Um, they are okay. Soap operas, remember, are those like La Supada? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. no. Like uh, Maria Larvac. No, 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 TV, no telenovelas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you. you uh, you don't like vicio. Oh. Vicio. oh yes that is true that is true right that is true right okay. very good and what about game shows Adelie? Um, they are okay thank you so much okay thank you so much okay thank you so as you may know with yesterday we were working with this one a little bit like do you like do you like Okay, we have different things that we like, as you may know. Maybe we can talk about food. Maybe we can talk about animals. Maybe we can talk about clothes. But here in this lesson, or, or section, uh, we're talking about music and some kind of TV shows as well. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, okay, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna show you a video, so I need you to watch the following video. Um, let me see. Yeah, yeah, I have everything here. Um, which is related to the grammar part. Let's listen and watch. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No. I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you, too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does? Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Thus, he play the piano. If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Thank you so much. Now, here we have the grammar part about these questions with simple present. And also we have do, does, and here we have the double H words, okay? As you may know, when you have do and does, it's quite simple because most of the time, as you may see here, 
pues nos da el chance de contestar con yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes. Now, if we want to add more information, si queremos agregar más información a esa answer, podemos hacerlo like here. I love it. Yes, I do. I love it. Just to, just to emphasize a little bit more. With the negative, yes, you can say, no, I don't. Y puede agregar, I don't like it very much. Uh, with this one, does she play the piano? Yes, she does. She plays very well. No, she doesn't. She does. She doesn't play an instrument. Uh, do they like Imagine Dragons? Yes, they do. They like them a lot. No, they don't. They don't like them at all. Yes, we do and does. Nos da el chance de contestar con un yes, I do, or no, I don't. ¿Sí? Cuando tenemos la cuestión, we do or we does. Right? Y also, if we want to, le agregamos un poquito más. Yeah? To this one. Ahora, cuando tenemos una double H word like what or who or where or when, ahí sí es different. Ahí sí no nos da el chance de contestar con un yes o con un no. Aquí va directo y contestamos según lo que nos piden. Right? What kind of music do you like? I really like rap. Yes? Aquí no podemos contestar con un yes I do, no I don't. Or yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Aquí tenemos que contestar straight to the answer. Yes? What does she play? She plays the guitar. You see? Who do they like? They like Maroon 5. Okay? Yes? So be careful with these questions. Um, creo que estuvimos hablando un poquito para qué nos servía en eso, right? Yes. ¿Cuándo ocupábamos who, lady? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tell me why. Hey, nothing. Yeah. Lady, when do we use who? Para preguntar eh, a quién le gusta o... Okay. Uh, yes, but is, is this about place? Is this about manner? Is this about general things? Uh -huh. I don't know. Oh, that's okay. No problem. Roxana, can you help her? Help us, please. Uh, Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, about person. It it is about people, lady. Very good. Mira aquí, Maroon Five. Sí, sí, entonces Maroon 5 es una band, right? Es una band of people. Yeah, so, no me acuerdo quiénes son, but I think they're, they're a fan. Okay, yes. Creo que lo escuché por ahí with Cristina Aguilera, I guess. Right. I don't remember exactly, but I, I guess, right? So, again, who is with, with people? Entonces, como es people, aquí siempre nos va a dar una answer de alguien. Right? En este caso, una band. Yeah. Eh, y aquí tenemos estos object pronouns. Ok. Estos object pronouns nos ayudan en English a lot para ya no referirnos otra vez a la misma cosa. Ok. Yes. Right. Uh, ¿Qué quiere decir esto? For example. Eh, vamos a ver. Uh, here. Ok. Yo voy a hablar acerca de I love. Let me see. Oh, Madonna. Let's say right. Madonna. Okay. I love Madonna. Yes. Um. Oh. So you can say I. I love her. Exactly. Very good. I love her. Ok. Ya. Yeah. So, en este contexto, aquí tengo Madonna. Y aquí, para ya no mencionar Madonna, pues simplemente ocupo este object pronoun que se refiere a ella. Right? Ahora aquí yo le puedo cambiar el contexto, right? I, I like 
uh, let's see, uh, Madonna's um, music, let's say, right? Yes, para ser un poquito más specific about it, right? So you can say, oh, I like Madonna's music. I love her. Yeah. So here, as you see, I'm talking about Madonna, right? ¿Y qué es lo que hago acá? Utilizo un object pronoun de los que están acá para referirme siempre a ella. Yes, right? Esto siempre, la mayoría de casos van a ir al final de la sentence, right? Sí, en la mayoría de casos. For example, aquí voy a poner uno here. Um, um, they, oh, I don't know, need um, some help, let's say, right? Yes, so the sentence is they need some help. And go yo y digo, oh, can you help? Oh, jeez. Can you help them? Oh, yes, right? So, if you see, en la mayoría de casos, right, cuando utilizamos uno de estos, ya tenemos que tener un previous information. Sí, tenemos que darle un previous information, un previous context, para que vayamos ocupándolos. For example, aquí tenemos, they need some help. Estamos hablando de ellos, right? Vengo y digo, can you help them? Yes, right. Es como que ve que tiene, necesitan ayuda con la olla de tamales, right? Say, oh, they need some help, right? Las señoras. Yeah, can you help them? Yes, I'm going to eat all those tamales for them. Yeah, so this is the way you can, you can, you can use this one. Los object pronouns. Teacher, yes. perdón, sería entonces eh, como sustituir el sujeto exactly. por un object pronouns, ¿verdad? Exactly. Exacto. Very Gracias. good. Ahora, si usted se fija, en la mayoría de examples que he hecho, siempre va a ir al final. Ya, yeah? okay. en most of the time. En most mm -hmm. of the time. Ok. Uh, y en la mayoría de casos, siempre tenemos una information previous. Tenemos previous information. Tenemos context. Contexto antes, right? So, so we, then we can use them. Ya. Yeah? Ya. Yeah? Right. Any question about this? Brenda, any question? No question. Sorry, no, no question, sir. Oh, no. that's beautiful. Oh, let, me, let me show you the next exercise. You're going to start the next, okay? Thank you. Are you there, Brenda? Read this information, please. Go ahead. Todo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ay, perdón, Kush. Es que tengo un problema ahorita con este dispositivo que se me está trabajando y, y a veces se me congela. Oh, oh ok, ok. Yeah. Uh, perdón. Don't, don't worry. Ok, Erika. Okay. Erika García. Thank you so much. Good evening. Buenas noches. Nice right. to have you. Read, read, read this information. Mm. Simple present questions, short answers. Use do plus base form for yes or no questions and short answers with I, you, we, they, do, uh, do. Quizás era para do. I, you, we, they. Like rock? Yes. I do. Ah, sí, era, no tenía que leerlo todo. ¿eh? <laughs> Perdón. No. Okay, no problem. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Use does in just no questions and short answer with her, she, and it. He, he. He, she, and it. Very good. Does he like rock? Yes, he does. Very good. No, he doesn't. Yes. You don't and doesn't plus base form for negative statement. I don't like. Horror movies? 
he doesn't like action movies. Okay. Remember, don't add 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 s to the base form. Does he like rock? No. Mm, no, does he like rock? Very good. Continue. Subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Usually come before a verb. Object pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, them, usually come after a verb. He likes her, but she doesn't like him. Thank you so much. You're Very good. good. Okay. Thank you. Let me, let me close this one. Okay. Here we have this information. Oh, let's begin with letter A. Let me see. Moises, complete the questions and short answer. Do you play a musical instrument? Yes, I do. I play the guitar. What about the number two, Moises? What is the question? The number two. Do you like Taylor Swift? Okay. Do you like do you like mm -hmm. Taylor Swift? No. No. I don't not. Si respondo yo es Espérame. Mm, no, I don't. Joe doesn't like country music. Okay. So do you think the question is right or is we need to change it? Mm. Ay, pero es que aquí está Joe. Ah. Estamos hablando de... de. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No, no, he doesn't. Okay, no, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Joy doesn't like country music. Very good. What about the question? Do you think we need to change the question, Moises? Um, no, creo que no. <laughs> okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Very good. Roxana, what do you think? Do you think we need to change the question? Excuse me? In number two. The question is, do you like Taylor Swift? No, he doesn't. Joe doesn't like country music. Do you think we need to change the question? Or that we need to fix the question? Um, it does, um, okay, we can say, does, does Joe like Taylor Swift? Okay. Thank you so much. That is correct. So we need to change the question, Moises, because of the answer. Okay. So we can say, does Joe like? Okay. It's because of the answer. Okay. Oh, Jesus. It's capital letter. Okay. Does Joe like Taylor Swift? No, he doesn't. Joe doesn't like country music. Okay, so that's. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Wonderful. Okay, so this is the way we are going to do number three, as you may see, right? That is going to be for you. Yes. You, uh, Sandra Marixa. Hello. Thank you, Sandra. Number three, please. Um, do you like uh, do you like 
Okay, continue. Uh, do you like tall show? Continue, Sandra. Yes. Yes, she. Yes, she likes. Lisa is a bad fan of tape. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, uh, correct. This is the correct one. Yes, she. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, she. What about Kubamus? Do or does? Does. Okay, very good. Yes, it does. Very good. Oh, Jesus, I didn't understand. No sería la tres. Yes, young sí. lady, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yes. Y borré el de arriba. Ah, come on. Give me a break. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Um, yes, here we have. Yes, you tell me. Um, she does, right? Very good. Yes, she does. Oh, we have to appear here. Yes, she does. But what about the question? The question is incorrect. Because you tell me, do you like? So, Sandra, what do you think here with the question? Um, do, 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 do or do, does? Does. Does. Uh -huh. Does. Does. Does Lisa like? Oh, very good. There you go. Beautiful. Does Lisa like? Oh. Uh, give me a minute. Does Lisa like? Okay, beautiful. Yeah, so there you go. Does Lisa like talk shows? Yes, she does. Lisa is a big fan of them. Yeah. As you see, otro, oh, aquí estamos ocupando, mire estas cosas que dijimos, right? ¿Cómo se llamaban estas, uh, Moises? These ones? What? Them. Yeah, then. What is the name of this thing? Son, ay, ¿cómo se llaman? Permítame. Pero son las que pronouns. Exact. Object pronouns. Very good. Mm -hmm. Object pronouns. Okay. Entonces, mire, van al final, right? Mire. Yeah, van a the end. Very good. Y antes Air tenemos, field. tenemos un contexto. ¿A qué se refiere then? Aquí tenemos. A ellos. ¿A, a quiénes? Eh, when we talk about they. Yes, pero en este contexto, ¿a qué se refiere? Ah, este, a uh, talk shows. Oh, very good. There you go. Mm -hmm. Se refiere a esto, mire. Very mm -hmm. good. Perfect. Thank you so much. Sí, oh, perdón. En anterior, when we talked about Joy, este, no había identificado que abajo estaba el nombre. <laughs> Por eso me equivoqué. Pero That's hoy okay. ya, ya Perfect. entendí. Gracias. Perfect. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. Brenda, Cecilia. Hello, Brenda. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Brenda, number four, please. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Mm. But let's begin. Which one do you think? Do or does? Does. ¿Por qué das, Brenda? Uh, porque estamos hablando como en plural en, de varias personas ok, do, I mean ok, does ok this one, does Brenda uh -huh. ¿cuáles pronombres va? ah, uh, perdón, es con she y he uh -huh. she, he, and it right. ¿estos son plural o singular? singular exactly Entonces, usted me dijo que estamos hablando de... Dije que estábamos hablando en plural. Exacto. ¿Cuáles son los plurales? Um, they. Yes, very good. What else? We. Yes. Mm. And you, right? Yeah. Y este singular que está, que es I. Very good. Entonces, aquí... Tenemos plural. ¿Cuáles serían los plural here? ¿Por qué dice usted que estamos hablando de plural en el number four? ¿Mm? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Una sugerencia? Right. 
así rapidito, siempre tiene que leer todas las entes, ¿vale? Watch uh -huh. the news on TV. Yes, Kevin and I watch the news every night. Eh, eh, exactly, very good, very good. O sea, sí está correcto porque usted está diciendo que we're talking about plural, right? Yes, Brenda. Entonces, pero yeah. ¿por qué está diciendo usted que son plural? Pero estaba confundida con la, con la conversación. Oh, con, oh, con, la, con el ejercicio. Oh, ok, ok. Entonces, um, ¿estamos hablando de algo plural o algo singular? Singular. Ok, entonces, ¿cómo me quedaría la cuestión? Um, Do or, da, or does? Do. Ok, continue. Do you watch the news on TV? Ok. Do you watch very good? Oh, come on. Come here a minute. Do, oh, what's going on with this? Okay. Do you watch the news on TV? Yes. What is next? Yes, I do. Okay, continue. Lea lo que sigue. Yes, I do. Uh, Kevin and I watch the news every night. Very good. Sí, el pronombre es incorrecto. El pronoun es incorrecto. ¿Cuál es el pronoun, Brenda, donde usted se incluye? Like you can say, oh, I'm here. Is I them? No, sorry. Donde usted y alguien más se incluye. As... No, pronoun, pronoun, pronoun. No. No possessive, pronoun. No sé. Arely, can you help her? Oh, es, si es el oche pronoun, es no, as. as. Si es... No, that's, that's sí. possessive. That's possessive, Arely. That's possessive. Si no es el we. Oh, yes. Ese es el pronoun, right? Brenda, okay. Yes, we. Okay. ¿Y cuál es el otro que me dijo? Do or does. We uh, do. Oh, very good. Yes, we do. Okay, so do you watch the news on TV? Yes, we do. Mire, Kevin and I. Pues el Kevin y yo, right? Kevin and I watch the news every night. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Okay. Quest question, Brenda? Um, aún me cuesta un poco entender eso todavía. Okay. No problem. <laughs> With practice, right, Brenda? With practice. Sí. With practice and practice. Thank you. Sandra Marixa. Thank you, Sandra. Hello. Hello. Number five. Number five, Sandra. Um, do you like? Continue. Do you like? Mm -hmm. No. No, I, I, I do, I do, I do, continue, but I love air. Uh, R and B. R E B. Very good, Sandra. Perfect. Yes, no mistakes. Very good. Yes. Hello. Yes, Sandra. That's very good. Yes. Um. Everything is correct. Todo está correcto. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Um. Ana Guevara, number six. Escuchan a Ana? Do you hear Ana? Yes. Do you hear Ana? Because she's speaking. Yes. I don't hear you, Ana. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening with this one, but I don't hear you. The rest of your classmates, yes, they hear you. But I don't. I don't, I don't hear you. I'm, I apologize, okay? I apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. 
Hello, teacher. Number six, please, Ingrid. Okay. Uh, do you like listen to jazz? Okay. No, I'm sorry. Vamos a quitar el like ahí, Ingrid. Okay. So, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Do you listen? Listen. Listen. Oh, yes. Very good. Listen. Do you listen. Very good. Just. Uh -huh. Ingrid, ¿cómo nos quedaría? No. No, I don't listen. Very good. No, I don't. Continue. But? But my parents listen to a lot of classical music. Thank you so much. Very good. Great job. Thank you. Silvia, exhale, please. Léame todas las sentences, please. Desde la number one hasta la number six. Silvia. Hello, Silvia. Please read. No? Okay. Jancy Stephanie Alvarado. Hello, Jancy. Good evening. Please read, Jancy, the sentences. One, two, three, four, five, and six, Jancy. Good evening, teacher. Thank okay. You. Do you play? Do you play a music instrument? Yes, I do. Uh, I play the, the, the guitar. Guitar. Como se dice? Like that. Guitar. Very good, Jancy. Guitar. Does Joel like Taylor Swift? No, he doesn't. Yes. Joel doesn't like country music. Does Lisa like tell short? Talk shows. Talk short. Yes. She doesn't. She does. She does. Perdón. Lisa is a um, big fan of him. Do you watch the net news news on TV? Yes, we do. Kevin, um, I watch the news. Every night, do you like hip hop? No, I don't. But I love it. Um, R and B. Do you listen to us? No, I don't. But my parents. Listen to a love of classical music. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. I'm going to stop it here because I need to take the attendance. So I will take the attendance. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Please. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here we go. Ana Maria Emily Guevara. Ana Maria Emily Guevara. No, she isn't. Areli Janeth Cornejo Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Beth Seida Jasmine Berrios Menjiva. I'm here. Thank you so much. Brenda Cecilia Mejia Ayala. Present. Good evening. Cynthia Rachel Bonilla Valiente. 
Cynthia Rachel Bonilla Valiente. Okay. Let's see. Cynthia. Okay, Cynthia. No, she isn't. Okay. Elizabeth Jasmine Caña Salvarenga. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Erika Lisette Garcia Acosta. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome. Germán Ulises Pinto Sánchez. Germán Ulises Pinto Sánchez. Okay, let me check. Oh, Germán is here, but he's busy probably. Eh, Griselda Saray Lara Mengíbar. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Um, Héctor Enrique Guzmán Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Ingrid Stephanie Sosa Deras. I'm here. Thank you. Good evening. Jacqueline Andrea Orellana Galdames. Present teacher. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jessica Maria Molina de Olmedo. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Juan Carlos Escobar Valle. Juan Carlos Escobar Valle. No, Juan, not today. No, Juan. Oh, Juan Carlos. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Juan. Good evening. Judith del Carmen Alfaro Rodriguez. Hello, Judith. Are you here? Let me see. No, Judith isn't here. No. What about Karen Stephanie Carvajal Rivas? Karen Stephanie. Okay, let me check Karen really quick. Okay, Karen. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Lady Evelyn Guerrero Perez. Present teacher. Good evening. Luis Ernesto Garcia Fuentes. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Moises Elias Martinez Flores. Welcome. Present. Roxana Yanira de la Paz Artola de Funes. Good evening. Present teacher. Sandra Marixa Violantes de Arevalo. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Silvia Bexali Manzanares Rivas. Hello, Silvia. Are you here? Silvia. Okay, Silvia. Thank you so much. Good evening. And Jancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. And Jessica del Carmen Rivas Andino. Okay, so thank you so much. Okay, let me get back to the to the exercise. We finished one, which is letter A, but also we have letter B. If you notice here, right? We have letter here at at the bottom. In the bottom in this part, we have letter B. Complete the sentences with object pronouns. Entonces vamos a completar los object pronouns. Okay. Erika. We don't listen to hip hop because we really don't like it. What about the number two, Erika? What is the correct option? Mm, I'm sorry, Erika. Can you write it in the chat, Erika? Because I, I apologize. Este es un elige random people y... No voy a escucharlos. I don't know why. Yes, Erika. I'm sorry. Can you write it in the chat, please? Thank you. Your answer. Jancy. Hello, Jancy. Good evening. Thank you. Number two, Jancy. Uh-huh. Jancy, your microphone is off. Okay. Tell yes, me, Jancy. Sir. Number two. Oh, okay. We love your voice. Please sing. Sing. Before, 
Okay, okay. Uh, excuse me, Roxana. Can you tell me the object pronouns, please? Yes. Uh, we love your voice. Please sing for us. Very good. Very good. Here, as you may know, we have we. We. So, we. because it's we, remember, we love your voice. Please sing for us. So, that means a group of people is saying this. Okay, Jancy and Erika. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue with you, lady. Number three. These sunglasses are great. Do you like? You? No, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? No, I'm sorry. Them. Do you like them? That is correct. Do you like them? Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. ¿De quién estamos hablando here? De los sunglasses. Glasses. Exactly. Do you like them? Very good. Who is that man? Do you know? Who is that man? Uh -huh. Let me see. Elizabeth Jasmine, number four, Elizabeth. Do you, I mean, who is that man? Do you know? Man. Yes, what is the object pronoun? Uh -huh, him. Elizabeth. Oh, it's him. Him. Very good. Him. Do you know him? Right. The king is also this one. Very good. And the last one is for you, Jacqueline. Beth looks gray in green. It's a really good color for Jacqueline. What do you think, Jacqueline, here? Yes or no? Okay. Hector, what do you think, Hector? Uh, for me? No, I'm sorry. It's Beth yeah. looks... Oh, very good. Somebody say okay. her. Yes. Yes. We were talking about Beth, Hector. So Beth looks gray in green. So we see Beth. Okay. So that's why, oh, it's really, it's, it's a really good color for her. And again, if you notice, siempre hay un contexto, right? Siempre hay un context. Y van at the end. Ahora, the difficult part aquí es esto, mire. Identificar. ¿De qué estamos hablando? Oh, my gosh. That is the difficult part. Yes. For, because here, if you see, hip hop. We. Sunglasses. Man. And Beth. So we need to, uh, and this part is like, uh, is a difficult thing. In my suggestion, my suggestion Es que usted trabaje con, pues, con la tabla, right? Yes, tenemos una tabla que es I, me, you. Creo que el otro es yours, right? Yes. I'm sorry. No, you. You is you. Okay. I guess. Oh, Jesus, I don't remember. Yeah, you. Um, his? Oh, I'm sorry. He? Him. He? Um, oh, she's. She? Her. It? It's. Uh, who else? We, um, us, right? And this one is they, them, right? Entonces, aquí es la difficult part, as I told you before. Y tiene que tener un cuesta, por ejemplo, usted el contexto. 
para que usted pueda ocuparlo according to the sentence, right? Por ejemplo, en el exercise number five. Entonces, tiene que identificar a quién va a sustituir este. Hair. Entonces, oh, porque aquí tengo Beth looks gray in green. So, lo único que puede sustituir sería Beth. Who is that man? This one is a man. As you may know, but con he, entonces, goes, goes with him, we're going to have him. Entonces, identify esta parte de acá es lo difficult. Yes. Ahora, si usted identifica this part, which is, the, which is like the context, right? Usted ya puede ocupar esto. Yes. Right? So, that is the difficult part, I guess, when it comes to use um, object pronouns. Yes. Uh, give me a minute. I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con pronunciación. Let's listen and practice pronunciation. Okay. In this lesson, participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and... So what do we have here? Tenemos pronunciation two ways. Uno es con do or does, y la otra sería con double H words. Yes? Right? So here you need to be careful porque una va para arriba at the end y la otra va como hacia abajo, la pronunciation, right? Entonces, do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instruments do you play? So at the end, if you notice, the intonation va hacia abajo cuando tenemos una de estas, right? Right? Which, what, where, when, how. Pero cuando tenemos do or does, vamos a hacia arriba at the end, right? Hacia arriba. Very good. Falling into name. Okay. So let's practice these questions. Me va a decir la cuestión y me la va a contestar. Yes. Let's begin with you, Arely. Number one, read the question and answer the question. Hmm. Do you like TV? Um, yes, I like TV. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Okay, ahora, en su respuesta, ya no me puede decir I like TV, porque en la misma pregunta la tengo. Ya Entonces, lo digo. Exacto. Lo que sí puede ser agregar un poquito más, como... I, ah. I watch TV a lot. I love it. Um, mm. Yeah. You okay. See? Very good. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, next one is for you, lady. Next one, please. Do you like video games? Para arriba. Do you like video games? Uh, do you like video games? Okay. One more time. Do you like video games? Very good. Okay, now tell me. Do you like video games? Um, video games son programas de, mm -hmm. ju de, de juegos. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, I don't... No, I don't. Oh, very good. No. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Griselda, Sarai? Griselda, Sarai? No? Okay. Hector? Thank you, Hector. Yes, I hear. Uh, do you play a musical instrument? Okay. Hacia arriba la pronunciation at the end, please. Okay. Do you play a musical instrument? Beautiful. One more time. Yes, I do. 
Okay, one more time, repeat the, uh, the question. Okay. Uh, do you play a musical instrument? Uh, uh, and what, what is the answer? Down. What is the answer? No, I play. No, I don't? Or yes, I do? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. No, I don't. Very good. Thank you. Um, Jessica, Maria. Jessica. Uh, what show do you like? Uh-huh. Because. Entiende la question? ¿Ah? Entiende la question, Jessica? Eh, ¿Por qué me gustan los. No, los shows? ¿cuáles? ¿Cuáles? Why shows? ¿Cuáles? What, ah, ¿Cuáles? What ah, shows? Yeah. Yes. Eh, I like reality shows. Oh, very good. Yes, correct. Very good, Jessica. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Roxana, next question. What games do you like? Okay, uh, one more time. What What games do you like? Mm -hmm. I don't like any, any games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. <laughs> Brenda. Hello, Brenda. The next one is for you, Brenda. Okay. <clears throat> what instrument do you play? I I don't play instrument. Oh, very good. Thank you so much, right? Si se fijaron en la pronunciation de your classmates, right? Tenemos la misma question. However, the intonation is quite different. For example, do you play a musical instrument? What instruments do you play? Do you like video games? What games do you like? Do you like TV? What shows do you like? Yes, so here we do. Y también con das, vamos hacia arriba with pronunciation. Okay. Really quick here we have favorites. Okay. Question for you, um, let me see really quick because of the time, as you may see, right? We don't have enough time. Um, Erika, what's your favorite kind of music? Okay, thank you so much. Erika, what's your favorite kind of movie? Okay, thank you so much. Areli, thank you so much, Erika. Areli. What? What what's your favorite kind of TV show? Um TV show. Yep. Um Miami. Oh, that's a good one, oh, right? Sure. So that means action, <laughs> action TV shows. Action. Thank you. <laughs> Elizabeth Jasmine Cañas. What's your favorite song, Elizabeth? Um, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, very much. No, what's your favorite song? Mm -hmm. Mi 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 canción favorita, me pregunto. Yes, yes. Tengo varias. Just tell me one. Just tell me one. I don't know. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite movie, Elizabeth? Ah, uh, um, Twilight. I like Twilight. Oh, my favorite movie is? My favorite movie is Twilight. Very good. What about video game? What's your favorite video game? Uh, I don't like. Oh, I, I don't like video games. Repeat. I don't like video games. Thank you so much. Germán Ulises? I don't like video games. Oh, very good. I don't like video games. That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Germán Ulises? 
No, okay. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. You told me that you're busy, right? Yeah, I apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, this one is for you. Who's your no. favorite singer? Good question. Mm. My favorite singer is uh, Selena Gomez, for example. Perfect, perfect, good. What about actor? Who's your favorite actor? Or actress, uh, if you want. My favorite actor. ¿Cómo se dice actriz en inglés, perdón? Actress, actress. Actress. My favorite actress is Scarlett Johansson. Oh, very good. What about your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete is Lionel Messi. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you so much, Juan, for answering these questions, okay? Again, this is about saying likes. Right. Thank you so much for being here, people. We will continue working tomorrow. Good night. Have a good night. You good do night. the same. Sure. Take I care, everybody. See you later. Perfect. Good night. Good night.